the present problem is the uh, third problem uh, on the logic gates uh, and uh, this problem is of uh, year 2014. Uh, we'll read out the problem here. Say the value of f is, there are four options here and the corresponding circuit is given here. Uh, this circuit consists of one XR gate, one XNR gate and both the outputs of these gates are fed to AND gate and we have to find the corresponding output of uh, this combination of gates. The inputs applied here are X, Y and Z are the inputs being applied. So uh, we'll try to find out the outputs uh, of each gate and then try to find out the final output F. Now this is an exclusive R gate, we can get an output here X exclusive R Y, this is the output of this gate, okay. Now this output is fed into the XNR gate and other input to XNR gate is the Z input. So we can write the output at this X exclusive R Y and exclusive NAR Z. This is the output at this gate and if we try to find out the output of the AND gate, this output will consist of, this is one input is X exclusive R Y and ended with X exclusive R Y and exclusive NAR Z. Okay. So this is the corresponding expression for Y. Now uh, we can use the associative property. That means we associate this Z with the first term. That means X exclusive or Y exclusive or Z and we take this term X star Y X exclusive or Y separately. Now uh, this bracketed term we can further expand because this is exclusive nor uh, of this first term and this second term. So using the SOP expression this would be X exclusive of Y complement then Z complement plus X exclusive of Y Z because this is the uh, SOP expression for exclusive nor that is X bar Y bar plus X Y. Okay and this term remains as such. So we can further uh, simplify this, we uh, open up this bracket. So this is uh, X exclusive or Y complement. Again this is X exclusive or Y Z bar plus these terms. Now X exclusive or Y and its complement. This is a complement and this is X exclusive or Y. They will be zero. They will make it zero. So the corresponding term which is left out it uh, is X exclusive of Y Z. X exclusive of Y into Z X exclusive of Y we can write X Y square X Y bar plus X bar by into Z. If you open up you get this term. So this is corresponding to option A. You can say here, see here the option A. This is the option A. So option A is the right choice here. So uh, this is a very good problem. Uh, especially you have to be very careful about using the associative and distributive properties. They are applicable to XR and XNR gates as well. And a, a good number of problems have appeared in the gate examination based on these properties. So you should be care very careful in using these properties and uh, good number of problems are being asked uh, on these uh, XR and XNR gates. Okay, thank you.